From the birth of a mankind, we always try to explore moon, sun and other stars in the space. But our real journey to space started on 4th October 1957, when Soviets launched the first artificial satellite Sputnik 1. After that, many other countries also contributed in space exploration and India is one of the top country in space exploration programs. Its organization is Indian Space Research Organization, also known as ISRO. ISRO was formed by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai in 1969, superseding the former Indian National Committee for Space Research, which was established in 1962. The very objective of ISRO is to harness space technology for national development while pursuing space science research and planetary exploration. On April 1, 1975, ISRO became a government organization and is managed by the Department of Space, which falls directly under the authority of Prime Minister and the Space Commission of Government of India. The very first satellite launched by ISRO was Aryabhatta on April 19, 1975. It conducted experiments in X-ray astronomy, aeronautics and solar physics. After that, many series of satellites were launched such as INSAT geostationary satellites, IRS Indian Remote Sensing Satellite, RISAT Radar Imaging Satellite, IRNSS and many more. The INSAT satellite helps in broadcasting your favorite TV show at your home. It also helps in telecommunication, meteorology and research rescue operations. IRS and radar imaging satellite particularly helps in determining water source and monitoring weather for crops and flood forecasting. The IRNSS Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System is the 7 satellite series out of which 6 has been already launched. This satellite series will replace GPS technology in India and will be more accurate up to 10 to 20 meters. In order to put a satellite above the Earth's surface, we need efficient launching rockets. For this very own purpose, ISRO has a launch vehicle fleet program, in which it develops the technology needed to launch satellites in outer space. The project was development of sounding rocket program, which later transformed into satellite launch vehicle program. In this program, ISRO has developed launch vehicles such as SLV, ASLV, PSLV and GSLV series. PSLV Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle is used for delivering various satellites to low earth orbits and is one of the world's most reliable launch vehicle. It is in service more than 20 years and has launched various satellites for historic missions like Chandrayaan-1, Mars Orbiter mission. PSLV is favorite among various organizations as a launch service provider and has launched more than 40 satellites for 19 countries. In 2008, it created a record by placing 10 satellites into various lower Earth orbits in just one launch. The GSLV is specially designed to deliver communication satellite to the highly elliptical orbit. ISRO has developed two versions of GSLV. The main difference between GSLV series is that the second version has more capacity to lift off mass to lower earth orbit than the first version. Apart from developing and launching geostationary satellites, ISRO is also doing extraterrestrial exploration missions such as Chandrayaan-1 and Mars Orbiter mission. Chandrayaan-1 mission was launched in 2008 and was intended for two years. But due to some technical failure, it lasted only for 312 days. Even though it lasted for a short time, but it has completed 95% of its mission objective. One of the biggest achievements of Chandrayaan-1 mission was finding water molecules on the surface of Moon. The biggest achievement of ISRO is the Mars Orbiter mission. 
launched in November 2013. It was India's first interplanetary mission and ISRO has become the fourth space agency to reach Mars after Soviet space program NASA and European Space Agency. Also, India became the first nation in the world to reach Mars in its first attempt. The total cost of the mission was approximately $73 million, making it the least expensive Mars mission to the date. The mission costed less money because of lower worker costs, homegrown technology, simpler design, and significantly less complicated payloads. Instead of building series of iterative models, they built it from the start and used many components from the previously concurrent missions. Also, instead of directly going to Mars, they used most of the gravity assistance to cover the distance to reach Mars using gravitational slingshot method. Even though Mars is 100 times farther than the Moon, but it took the same amount of fuel needed to reach the Moon. After the launch of Mars Orbiter mission, ISRO has received a huge amount of criticism, such as whether the country like India should do a space program when it has so much poverty. Even the countries with their own space program ignored the achievements of ISRO. But after the success of Mars Orbiter mission in 2014, those critics disappeared in thin air. After all, ISRO is an industrious, cost-effective and very efficient organization, which is taking Indian technology to the next level and through Mars Orbiter mission, India demonstrated its capability to do complex interplanetary missions. This have led to more confidence among other countries to trust ISRO with their space missions. Finally, I just want to mention what APJ Abdul Kalam has said which will be an answer to critics and also explain why ISRO is doing a remarkable job in the community. Dr. Kalam has said, Many individuals with myopic vision question the relevance of space activities in a newly independent nation, which was finding it difficult to feed its population. Their vision was clear if Indians were to play a meaningful role in the community of nations, they must be second to none in the application of advanced technologies to their real-life problems. They had no intention of using it as a means of displaying our might.